Hello and welcome to another Jamesy Tech YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best CCNA study methods to get you ready for your CCNA exam and you pass on the first try of you taking the exam. So if you guys are interested in learning in my favorite and the best study methods to practice for this test, make sure to watch this video to the end. I'm going to break this video down into three sections. Uh, one being the course that you're going to take or your initial study method like learning networking, the basics, subnetting, all those things that you need to know for the exam. The second one uh, being a simulation like packet tracer, things like that to actually apply your knowledge. And the third one is going to be probably the most important, the practice exams and getting you ready to take the actual exam and pass. So firstly, I'm going to talk about my experience taking the exam and my study methods I, I used to pass the exam. So I took the exam last year uh, in May of 2023. So the exam might be a little different uh, in the future when you guys are watching this video. But I, I believe that these uh, study methods would still apply in the future. So the first one I had is the Cisco Academy, the networking academy. My high school, I'm very lucky. My high school offered networking courses from freshman year to my junior year. So I took three years of Cisco courses. And then the junior year, uh, I took the CCNA. Along with that, uh, I, I placed first in the nation for network administration using Cisco at BPA from taking those classes. So my experience might be a little different. Uh, but my first study method was Netacad, taking the uh, intro to networking, switching routing wireless essentials and enterprise uh, enterprise at uh, the EN, ENSA, the last course, I forget what the acronym is, uh, but I took all three of those courses. And then the, after the last one, I took the test. My second study method was Boson XSIM. I think it's Boson or Boson. I'm not sure how you say it. Um, XSIM, uh, they give you practice tests. It is a paid for one, but my school went ahead and paid for that. I think that helped me out a lot because those questions were harder than the CCNA questions. So it prepared me to uh, take the test. And, you know, when, when I took it, I was like, oh, these questions aren't as bad. Um, so I, um, then obviously Packet Tracer. This is a big one. Most people who take the CCNA will be using Packet Tracer. And then the last one is uh, 31 days before the CCNA book. I got this for free with a library card. Um, I got it about two months before I took the exam. I didn't follow the books 31 days, but I did read it within that two months to freshen up my, my knowledge because I did take courses over the span of three years. So some of my knowledge for the basics or, you know, anything in between. Uh, a lot of that was helped with this book. So those are my study methods. Let's get into the first study method, which is going to be your course, your main study uh, method, you know, the way you're going to learn the networking basics, Cisco knowledge, you know, commands, things like that. So first I'm going to go over Netacad. Uh, this one might, it depends on uh, your situation. If you're getting for, uh, if you're getting all of your training paid for, this would probably be a good option for you. Um, you could take instructor led courses or self paced courses uh, through uh, the Cisco Networking Academy, things like that. Netacad breaks it into three categories, like I said before. It's uh, intro to networking, switching routing, wireless essentials, and then enterprise uh, networking is the third course. And then after that, you take the CCNA exam. Uh, you could do it self-paced or instructor-led. Um, and then the second study method, this is uh, one that a lot of people use as well, especially more old-fashioned people, depending on how um, you study. Uh, they have a lot of CCNA books. If you have a library card, you can easily get uh, one of those thick CCNA books to help you prepare. Um, while it may be very intimidating, those books can teach you everything you need to know to take the exam. Along with that, I believe a lot of those books have practice tests in them. So you, that's kind of like an all-in-one solution if you're looking for just one method to study and you just read through like a 500 to 1,000 page book. Uh, I think it's a couple books actually. Um, to study for the CCNA. That's a very uh, good method if you like reading long books, things like that. Another one is Udemy. Uh, I never use Udemy for CCNA courses, but I know they do have some. Um, the reason why I say Udemy and not other websites is because Udemy is relatively cheap. Uh, if you wait for the deals, which they have deals all the time, if you guys are familiar with Udemy, um, I think uh, CCNA courses can get as low as $15 for the whole course. Um, and most of the times those are crash courses to give you all the knowledge that you need to know to take the exam. Sometimes courses will also have practice tests embedded in them as well. And then the last one I have on here, which is a free study method, is going to be Jeremy's IT Lab. Uh, I personally used uh, some of his videos when I didn't understand certain topics. Jeremy's IT Lab is a YouTube channel that pretty much has 
every single video you'll need to ever see for the CCNA. If you have any question on any topic, that dude has a video on it. Really, really good uh, YouTube channel and very useful. Along with that, uh, Network Chuck, some of his videos are helpful, especially if you're having trouble subnetting. Some of his older videos are more catered to the CCNA or Cisco knowledge. I believe he has some crash courses on the basics of networking, um, but a lot of his older videos will have subnetting, things like that. If you are not good at subnetting, Network Chuck is probably the best uh, way to easily learn subnetting. You can watch, I think he has a series of videos where he goes over subnetting, and then by the end of it, you'll probably be a god at it. So. He is definitely a good resource as well. But that's all I really have for the uh, first category of study methods. I'll go over it again briefly. Netacad, which is going to be the most expensive out of all of these. Uh, obviously, that's trained uh, courses. You're going to be probably, uh, it's probably going to be instructor-led or self-paced, which is probably going to be a lot of money. Uh, the second one's books. It could be free. You, you may have to pay for the books depending on where you are. Um, but a lot of books you can probably get with a library card. One downside to that is that, you know, obviously if you, uh, uh, I don't, it's not rent a book, but if you get a book from the library, you got to return it at some point. So if, as long as you're a fast reader and you stay on it, it shouldn't cost you anything. Um, if you pay for the books, the books could probably be pretty expensive because they are hefty books and they give you all the knowledge you need to know. Then once again, we have Udemy, which will give you, uh, crash courses and practice tests for a pretty cheap price, not very expensive. Then you have Jeremy's IT Lab, which is free on YouTube. Um, he's great. Uh, that's all I really can say. And then Network Chuck's another one. He's not really going to be your main source, but um, he can definitely be a good one if you're having trouble with subnetting. All right, let's move on to the second category, which is going to be your simulation. This is pretty important for Cisco because there is a hands-on lab or two in the test there's 120 questions i believe up to two labs i had two on mine um that, that'll be hands-on configuration so you will need to know how to uh, actually configure cisco equipment so having a simulation is pretty important when you're getting ready for this exam so the first one obviously you guys are probably expecting this if you know stuff about the ccna packet tracer is going to be a big one i believe you can get it for free if you have a skills for all account or netacad account skills for all is a free uh website you can sign up for it's cisco um i can i'll have a link in the description down below with a packet tracer course which gives you a uh free download for packet tracer um the second one which i've never used but i was researching for this video and i did find this uh it is gns3 um this is a broader networking simulation tool but i've heard it's pretty good it's an open source free tool that you can download um, and configure things. I'm not too familiar with it, so I can't speak too much on it, but I did research and that is a uh, that is something that some people use. Then the last one, um, I personally have not used this one either, but it, this one will cost you money. It is Bosun uh, NetSim, which I will go ahead and show you guys right here. NetSim uh, is about $180 for a year license, so it's pretty expensive. Um, but if you're someone who's willing to invest some money into it or if your company or people who you work for are paying for it, then this might be something that you can consider. But NetSim will give you, uh, according to them, 107 CCNA labs, which is a lot. Um, yeah, Net Networking Academy gives you about the same amount of labs. Um, but having a simulation for the CCNA is probably the not I'm not going to say the most important, but it's pretty important for uh, practical knowledge and applying what you know. All right, so let's move on to the third and last category. And in my opinion, other than the initial knowledge for the test itself, this is probably the most important thing that you at least look at or try to do, which is practice tests. Practice tests are gonna, I, I, I think uh, a month before my test, I probably spent all of my time doing practice tests, reading the CCNA book, um, and that's about it. And maybe searching some videos online, which is like with some topics that I'm a little confused about. But practice tests are so important for any certification test you take just to see how it's actually going to be when you sit down um, for the test. So the second one I have is going to go ahead and be Sys uh, sorry, Boson XSIM, which um, is a popular one. And this one helped me out a lot, um, not because the questions uh, helped me pass, but the questions were pretty hard compared to the CCNA. So I felt really humbled taking the practice test. I believe it's $100 for a year license, similar to the uh, NetSim. You get 
th I think it's uh, three 100 question tests. So you'll have around 300 questions for that $100 uh, voucher. Um, you can split it up into exams and it will tell you if you're right or wrong and then give you a long explanation on why each answer is right or wrong. A uh, very useful tool. Like I said, it is very difficult. So um, that'll get you ready for sure. Along with that, they have um, network simulations in there. Like the real CCNA will have um, labs that you have to complete. And this will also have one or two labs every 90 or 100 questions for uh, the CCNA. So it is very useful because you can uh, do the hands-on portion and it is very, very realistic to the real exam. And then the last one I'm gonna go ahead and share, this is gonna be a little funny, is google.com. Um, searching CCNA practice questions is something that I did for hours and hours to find the best website. So you might find better websites than the ones I've stated or free resources that have a bunch of questions just by simply searching CCNA practice test on Google. That's what I would suggest you did. Um, but you'll see like the ones that give you 20 free questions or 10 free questions. Do all of those because honestly, the more like for me, I don't like spending money or too much money on um, uh, practice tests or things like that. So those like the free 20 question exams really helped me just in my free time. They didn't take very long, but um, they helped me out a lot. So yeah, those are all my three study methods and my uh, best uh, study methods for the CCNA. Obviously, if I missed any or you guys have uh, your own study methods for the CCNA, please comment down below and help us out or not help us out, but help everyone else out because uh, that's the goal of these videos is to help everyone out to pass the CCNA. So if you guys have better study methods, uh, make sure to comment that down below and I'll make sure to, uh, you know, acknowledge the comment, things like that. So yeah, that's all I really have for today's video. Um, thank you guys for 800 subscribers. We're inching closer to the 1000 mark i will be doing a live stream when we get close to a thousand for the you know the 1000 uh, subscriber milestone uh you guys will go ahead and be able to ask me questions things like that and i think it'll be a fun a uh, fun little uh, live stream um yes and i have a discord server down um on my uh, website jamesy.live slash discord go ahead and go there to join the jamesy tech discord it's not very active yet, but I would like to build um, a community to, I guess, not really a study group, but more so a community of people who have knowledge taking certifications who can help people who maybe need some help or some guidance. So that's kind of what my Discord server is for. And obviously, if you have any questions, you can join there. Ask me any question you like or comment down below your question, things like that. So yeah, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. This is James E. Tech, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.